What's going on, everybody? Little PSA order came back. I sent off, oh, maybe five, six weeks ago. So this was just a regular uh, submission and went out. In this, we're going to see some Beckett Ska slabs that I had that were chipped. I got re-slab PSA and see how we did on to it. So starting off first, Panini Prism. This is the camo. Ryan Switzer, PSA 9. These are numbered out of 25. Now you guys might remember seeing these. These were all part of the collection I picked up. These, This one here was raw originally. So, got that one graded. Let's see if I can keep this on here. So up next, same thing, Ryan Switzer. You're going to see four different one of these. The red, white, and blues. These were never serial number, but they were very SSP pulls from this year. Again, it's a 17 prism. Um, oh, I can't remember who I pulled that year. I pulled one of them, but it sold for a stupid amount of money, I remember, that year. And then 18, I pulled the Lamar Jackson. And it, I think I got like 1500 for it back then. So, here's the grades on to. It was basically a quad 9.5, red, white, and blue. PSA 10. So, first one, quad 9.5s, comes back, PSA 10. Pretty cool. Up next, the gold. Let me make sure I have the gold one up here. Yep, okay. We had the gold. This one here, 9.5 centering, 10 edges, 9.5, 9.5. Five, so a corner surface. Gold again, Ryan Switzer. How did we do? Let's just go like this with it. Gem Mint 10. Not bad. Not bad. One last Ryan Switzer for you guys to look at, I promise. This is the gold vinyl. It's numbered out of five. Centering nine. Nine, five, nine, five, nine, five. You remember that centering's a nine. It's what PSA likes the most. Came back PSA nine. So one nine out of the bunch, which I was figuring would be this one. I think this one's actually three of five. Yeah, three of five. So, figure what the heck. Let's get them crossed over. They were slabbed once before. Next two cards I picked up at the Derby City Card Show, which was like about a month ago now. So really, I got this back in like four weeks. 99 SP Authentic, Jerome Bettis, Players, Inc., PSA 9. Pretty much what I thought when I bought the card. Um, you don't really come across these a whole lot, so I figured I would grab it, grade it, and just add it to the display. Finally, oh, I know, it's supposed to be happy. This was all football today. The other card I picked up with the Bettis... Troy Aikman, 99 Upper Deck Encore, came back a 9. Like I said, this stuff here come back 9 from back then, that's phenomenal. I mean, well, actually, I guess phenomenal will be a 10. This here is still very, very good. Troy Aikman, um, Encore Upper Deck Authentics Auto. So really happy with this as well, too. There was just a little bit of whiting up here in this corner. That's why I got a 9. But uh, other than that, it was really a nice-looking card when I found it out there. So, like I said, going to these shows, you're not always going to find gold out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of shows you guys see I don't spend heavy. There's some shows I might spend heavy. It all depends on the prices with grading, you know, and stuff like that it comes down to it. Is it a card that I see a lot of shows? Everything across the board when I do this stuff. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed a quick little PSA reveal. I actually have two more orders that will be coming in this week. Uh, one is just five cards because I tagged in somebody else's order that went through me. And then the other one is like 20-some cards. It was from that collection. So I want to say everything in that would have been from like the four, 2014 to 2018 range. You guys are going to be in shock with some of that stuff when it comes out. All right, guys. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching the video. Catch you next one.